Episode 115 of the Marketing Life Podcast. This is Taylor Timothy, guys, your host. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about how to follow up with leads. So this is how I recommend that you follow up with leads coming into your funnels, how your sales guys follow up with leads. It is a battle, let me tell you. So this is the process that I would actually recommend on following up with your leads. So lead comes in. He fills out his name, email, and phone number. You better be calling that guy within the first 30 seconds. If he doesn't answer, then guess what you do next? This is step two. You text him. And then 30 minutes later, guess what you do? You call him. And then guess what you do if he doesn't answer? You text him. You have to be super aggressive with these leads when they come in. Think about it this way. So recently, I was looking for a massage. And I was looking for a new person to give me a massage. So what did I do? I said, massage therapist near me. I had a list of massage therapists come up. I looked at their reviews. And then what did I do? I pressed the call button and I called. I let it ring, 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 went to voicemail, hung up. Never got a call back from that person, nor did I book my appointment with that person. So my point to this story, obviously this is just my experience, but the thing is if someone fills out the information, they want service. And if you call them within the first 30 seconds, think about the trust that you just built with that person. That person is now going, holy cow, I just filled out a form to request some information. This person is going to take care of me. So that's what I recommend with following up with your leads. As far as your sales guys go, if they're, if you guys are doing, if you're reaching out to them immediately with quotes and things like that. So call, text, call, text. And probably call text like 10 more times throughout the week. Once they stop doing that, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take them and you're gonna put them into an email sequence. So the first email you're gonna send off to them immediately, it's gonna be what they asked for. So if you gave them a free offer, like a free quote or something, maybe it's an email saying, hey, we'll be reaching out to you shortly with this information that you're looking for. Or if it's a guide or PDF or something, then immediately they're getting their guide or their PDF. Then what I recommend doing is a couple days later, you send them an email that talks about selling them. Like you're hardcore selling them. Like trying to just sell them with testimonials and like we're the best and schedule your appointment or buy this right now. Hardcore selling. You're gonna sell them and then you're gonna send another email a couple days later that's another sell and another email a couple days later that's another sell and another email a couple days later that's another sell. So you're gonna like fire hose them with sales emails. Now some people might say, well, Taylor, what if he opts out? Well then guess what? He wasn't interested in your product. That's how I look at it. So if people are opting out of your list, then potentially how I look at it is like, well, at least you're not paying for them to be in your CRM anymore. Cause CRMs can get expensive once you get really big lists. So that's how I look at it. Um, or they're, or they're not interested. Then following that, what you're going to do is you're going to send them off into the infinity sequence is what I call it. So we're going to stop selling them for a little bit and we're going to educate them. So we're going to educate them about why we're the best and how, and how we can help them and giving them tips and tricks on how to overcome stress or their problems. And you're going to send four of those emails in a period of um, a week apart. So in a whole month, you're just going to send them like cool content and educate them about just that you guys are experts in what you do. And then what you're going to do is email number five. You're going to hit them again with a sell. And you're going to try and sell them again. And email five. And then you're actually going to repeat that sequence and go educate, educate, edu- educate, and then sell them again. And you are going to build this sequence out forever as long as you can. Like That's like your monthly to do is to create content for these email sequences. Then you can take that content, you can post it on social media and so on and so forth. So you're going to educate, 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 sell. And like I said, this email sequence is going to last forever. Not just a month, but forever. 
as long as you are running this business, you're going to keep adding emails to it. So some tips and tricks there. What I, what I recommend is not dating your emails. So in the, in this infinity sequence. Now, what I mean by that is saying in 2002, we offered this service or Christmas or Labor Day, those types of things, you save those for campaigns, just one email blasts to your list. So don't date your infinity sequence emails. So that's what I recommend guys that you do um, to follow up with your leads. Uh, there's a lot of noise out there when it comes to online marketing, a lot of noise about people buy this, people buy that, but people buy people. And the more aggressive you are showing that you're actually going to take care of them, the more likely they're going to buy as well. So that's what I recommend guys, as far as following up with your leads. And this is episode 115. Thanks guys for listening to episode 115. If you guys have any questions or any other strategies on how to follow up with your leads, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, We will shortly have a guest on this podcast and they're going to share, they actually specialize in following up with their leads and that's all they do. They specialize in following up with people's leads. So you guys will hear that shortly from us. And other than that, guys, hopefully you have a great day and... 